What's going on guys, June with the Sushi Man here, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to properly heat up Japanese sake, also known as Nihonshu. This is going to be a quick tutorial that goes along with my ultimate sake guide video, where I teach you everything you need to know about sake. So if you want to learn more, make sure to check out that video. Alright, now let's jump right in. I'll start off with tools and supplies, which we don't need much. We'll be using a small to medium pot, a tokkuri, which is a carafe used for sake. This is a very typical one that's made out of porcelain, and same for this ochoko, which is a sipping cup. The important thing here is to make sure it's made from heat safe materials like porcelain or ceramic. Do not use any glass tokkuris, those are made for cold sake. And then we need a small piece of plastic wrap. And that's it. Now the type of sake is totally up to you, but I recommend going with a regular junmai or honjozo. I personally don't like to heat up more premium sakes like daiginjo and junmai daiginjos because it can eliminate their delicate flavor profiles, but it's really up to your preference. And I go into a lot more detail on these types of sake in my ultimate sake guide video, so be sure to watch that if you want to learn more. I'll be using this kurosawa, which is a junmai kimoto. It's a very good all around sake that's reasonably priced. I typically drink it cold, but it's also good when heated up. All right, so the first thing we want to do is pour the sake into the tokkuri. And the key here is to fill it to about 90%. And then we use this plastic wrap to seal the top. Now we're going to fill the pot with water so that when you put the tokkuri in, the water level comes up to a little over a half, no more than two thirds of the weight of this tokkuri. And this may take a little trial and error. Okay, once you have the right water level, take out the tokkuri and then we'll start boiling the water. Now this is important, make sure you don't boil the water with the tokkuri still in there. Alright, now that the water started to boil, I'm going to turn this completely off. And this is when we put in the sake, but make sure the heat is off. And then we'll let the sake take a nice hot bath for about 2-3 to three minutes. And the timing here can be different depending on the vessel you're using. Different materials will transfer heat differently. Plus, everyone has their own preference on how hot they want the sake. But a general rule of thumb or a good indicator is when the sake expands and comes up towards the plastic wrap. It might not be all the way touching it, but it should be pretty close. But if you want the most accurate way to tell, then you'll need a thermometer. And I have a chart that tells you all the different types of sake temperatures over on the other video. All right, now it's been about two and a half minutes and the sake started to come up to the top, so this should be ready. Now, it shouldn't be burning hot, but do be careful when taking it out. And then just use a towel to wipe off the outside here. Now just take off the plastic and you're ready to pour. And you can try playing around with the timing to see what temperature you like best. But most importantly, just have fun with it. Alright, that's it for this video. Hope you found it informative and helpful. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Kanpai! Ah. Uh,